Hey everyone, and what's going on? It's Zach here with another TCG unboxing. Now today we have our Johto Starters Partner Pack that we're going to open up part of the 25th anniversary. This is the second to last one, so I'm excited. And I'm actually really worried about not being able to get the Kanto Starter ones because Kanto Starters are just so much higher up on everyone's priority. And we have our second Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box. In our previous uh, video, we opened the one with Flareon, Jolteon, Umbreon, and Leafeon. Today, we are going to open up the one with Glaceon, Vaporeon, Sylveon, and Espeon, which I like this one better just because I think the colors mesh so much better than the other four, but that is a matter of opinion. Let me know in the comments down below if you had to pick up one of the boxes, which one would you pick up? But first off, we are going to open up the Johto Starter Pack. These have three oversized cards of the starters when they first appeared in the set. We have our Totodile starting off with Leer in Fury Swipes. We have our Chikorita with Growl and Razor Leaf. And then last but not least, we have our Cyndaquil with Fireworks and Quick Attack. These art cards are, like the art on these cards, just the old ones are, are beautiful. So we're going to go ahead and throw these into our binder now. Alright, here we go. We got Totodile and Chikorita and Cyndaquil. I'm not going to go through all these other ones. If you want to check that out, I've done it in other videos with the first partner packs. You can check that out on my channel because I will go through it once again when we have the last set. But I'm excited to finish this up. I think this is a cool binder to keep the oversized cards. I used to hate getting them and not having a space to keep them. So this is always awesome. What do we got in here? Probably a Evolving Skies and a base Sword and Shield. Look at that. We got Evolving Skies and a base Sword and Shield. It's like a magic, but we are going to get this Vaporeon box open, this Glaceon box open, Sylveon, and it should be exactly the same from the previous box, so I'm going to go through it a little quicker. The only thing that's going to be different is, once again, the artwork on the sleeves, the artwork on the coin, and all that good stuff, and the dice are a different color. I like the dice more in this one, even though I never use them. I should start bringing them into the classroom for adding. But there's the sleeve, we take it off. There's the book, we have a lot of those. And here is the lid. So I'll, I'll go ahead and bring up the other box because I literally just unopened it up. Which one do you like better? Let me know in the comments down below. I would have to say I like this one a whole lot better. I think the colors just mesh so much better. But let's check it out. We're going to open up the box. We get our little fancy cardboard with the colors that match. We get our booklet. We have so many of those. We get our 10 packs of Evolving Skies. Our Poison and Burn counters. Our dice, see those ones, these ones look good. I like them. We have our oversized coin with Vaporeon, Espeon, Glaceon, and Sylveon, which is in a lot better condition than the one with Jolteon. So if you can look here, you can see there's some spots of Jolteon that aren't filled in when they should be, and then Jolteon's face is scratched up. So this Sylveon, Vaporeon, Espeon, and Glaceon one is in a lot better condition than the other one. So, ah. It's just this, this box is just, it's more aesthetically pleasing to me. We get another EV pin. We got one of these in the first box. That's one of the things that you get, especially in the Pokemon Center box. You get your dividers. Your energy brick that we never use. Your sleeves, which I like. I like both of the sleeves. I really don't have a preference with the sleeves. And at the bottom, 
is the code card. So if you want to go ahead and grab these sleeves for the online trading card game, you go right ahead because I'm not going to use them. But we're going to get this opened up. We're going to see how the packs go and see if we can get something good. If you guys enjoy this, don't forget to like and subscribe, but let's get these packs open. Okay, so we have our packs. We are going to have our two from our Johto box. Let me fix that play mat there. There we go. And actually, we're going to shuffle these up this time because our big pull of the box was the very first pack we opened, and I feel like that that was done a certain way for a reason to make sure that you get a hit, but we don't want the best card to just be there on the first one. So we'll go ahead and we'll start out with our sword and shield. I think when it comes to gold cards, uh, my brother and I, we have Zacian, but we don't have Zamazenta. So if I could get the Zamazenta gold card, that'd be pretty cool. One, two, three, four. Swing it around. We have our electric type energy dotler, hop, shoulda woulda, minchino, Rhyhorn, Blitbug, Pinkurchin, Sobble, Krabby Reverse, and a Gengar Hollow. That's cool. I like that. We're gonna set these cards to the side so I can keep my evolving skies all organized because I'm going to put them in the elite trainer boxes afterwards going to organize what I have from the set and we are going to jump in this was the one from the Jota one so I'm assuming since the sword and shield was a hit this one probably will not be one two three four flip it around we have our dark type energy fletchlinger lantern treasure energy Time Pull, Eevee, Cutie Fly, Hitmonchan, Lotad, Pikachu Reverse, and a Regilecki Hollow. That is a double, but I mean, we got two hits out of that Johto pack, so that's a win for me. Let's go ahead and jump into our first pack from our Pokemon Center ETB. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think the Pokemon Center ETBs are worth it? Because you, I mean, you get two extra packs, but you do pay for those two extra packs. Uh, there's a $10 difference between the ones you can buy in stores and the ones that you can get from the Pokemon Center. So the only thing you get really is a bigger coin and a pin. So do you think that's worth it? Let me know. Let's see. Are we going to have our hit on the first pack like we did in the last box? Forges Reverse and a Thievil Regular Rare. Those are two beautiful cards. Next up, we are on to our Umbreon, and this one actually weirdly feels heavier. Probably just me, but let's see. So we're going to go ahead and show you the code. Flip it around, one, two, three, four. We have our fighting type energy, Crustal, Moon and Sun Badge, Toy Catcher, Lit Leo, Chin Chow, Dino, 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 Punkaboo, Carvana, Feebas Reverse, and our Leafy on VMAX. Okay, so this is a VMAX I don't have yet, but I think this might take up our big hit of the box. So that is pretty cool. Haven't gotten a Leafy on V yet. So it wasn't in the first pack, just in the second. I guess I did not shuffle them as good as I thought I did. But we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one, see if we can outdo that one. We have our Evolving Skies code. We're going to do our four from the back. Neighbor's dog is barking. We have a Metal Type Energy Braviary. Nuzleaf, Ice Q, Woobat, Time Pole, Psyduck, Eevee, Cutie Fly, Lantern Reverse, and a Gorgeist Regular Rare. 
Not too bad. Let's keep it going. Our Sylveon. Go ahead and show that code. How many people like... I wonder if it's like viable to just keep up to date with like TCG videos and get enough packs from these like people showing code cards to be viable in the online game. Drampaw Reverse and a Seismato. That Drampaw is cool, especially in the reverse. But yeah, is it viable to just watch these videos, take the code cards? Because I'm assuming like. I hear everyone do it and I do it. If you're gonna take a code card, only take one. But do people actually follow the rules? I don't know. I don't know. We have our dark type energy, lantern, spirit mask, that's creepy. Well, that's like a, kind of looks like the gym leader's mask, just not painted. Gory, petal lily, bergmite, drowsy, Scraggy, Bagon, Zinnia's Resolve Reverse, and a Slacking Hollow. Very nice. So one VMAX, one Hollow. Uh, if we are following the pattern of the last box, we should have a V somewhere in here as well. I wouldn't mind getting another alternative art but I know that's a big ask. Go ahead and there's the code. We'll do our one, two, three, four from the back. We have our electric type energy, crystal cave, Avalug, snow leaf badge, Psyduck, Eevee, cutie fly, Pikachu, Applin, Bergmite Reverse, and a <laughs> another Slacking Hollow. We just pulled the same card back to back. I guess that's not too bad. We are starting to really double up though on a lot of the regular pulls. I have two Regilecki Hollows. I have three Umbreon V cards, so that's always fun. There's the code for that. Or we'll do one, two, three, four from the back. Flip around, we have our water type energy, Voldador, Aroma Lady, Rescue Carrier, Swablu, Seedot, Woobat, Eevee, Time Pool, Thievil Reverse, and a Sylveon V. So Sylveon V with Dream Gift and Magical Shot. I think, oh, we have the Sylveon V full art. One of our pulls from the booster box. But I'm kind of worried. We're down to our last three packs. And if we're following the same pattern from the other Elite Trainer box, that is it for the hits. We'll have to see if that's true, though. Or maybe... This box will sit there and say, you know, I'm I'm the better set of evolutions, so I'm going to give you better cards. Maybe. We have our Grass-type Energy, Hippaldon, Golduck, Herdier, Gossifleur, Fletchling, Scraggy, Hippopotals, Time Pool, Flow at reverse and a Milotic regular rare. Last two packs. Can we get another hit? Can we get another hit? I do not know. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video. Let me know which box is your favorite. And subscribe if you want to. You know, I make TCG content when I get it. Basically pack openings. And I also do VGC content. Which I like the VGC content better because it's kind of like 
it's more of like my skill, not just opening packs. But let me know, what kind of videos do you prefer? I would have to say the TCG videos, if you made it this far into this one, but you never know. We're at the point. Ribbon Badge Reverse. Okay, I don't know if I've seen that one yet. And a Scoutland Regular Rare. I have not seen that one yet. Love the art on that one. So much great art on these cards. Like... They've really been catching my attention. Last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Can I get the pack open at all? Let's see what we get. Oh. Almost forgot to give you the code. One, two, three, four. We have our psychic type energy, treasure energy, digging gloves, pop a toad. Nicket, Bergmite, Raganrola, Flebe, Swablu, Hydreigon Reverse, and an Appleton Regular Rare. Thick Mucus is one of its moves. How appealing does that not sound? But we followed the same pattern in the regular Elite Trainer boxes. So let's go ahead and check out our hits. Okay, so out of this box and some two extra packs, we have Gengar Hollow from Sword and Shield. We have Regilecki Hollow, Slack King Hollow, twice. We got two double, we got a double up. Sylveon V and a Leafeon V Max, which is our hit. So these elite trainer boxes, uh, you get, let's see, because this one was part of the Johto box. So you get two hollows, a V card, and a big hit like a V Max or an alt art or a gold card. I wonder if I bought one of the regular non Pokemon Center ones, would the hit rates be the same? Do you just get two, two regular packs as extra? I don't know. I will have to see if I can pick one up and find out for you guys. But let me know what do you guys think about these hits in the comments down below. Did you guys like this video? If you did, don't forget to like it. But until next time, I'm Zach, and we will see everyone later.